nonsensical Harry faces to huge loss as Aussie critics boycott his new docu-series, Overshadow. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex shocked the world and the Prince and Princess of Wales on Thursday as Netflix released the first trailer for their docu-series, titled Harry and Meghan, which is due to air later this month. The trailer dropped just after midday and since received more than 1.6 million views. It has also been one of Netflix's most popular posts in terms of comments left, as viewers of the popular streaming platform have had a lot to say. The, quote, unprecedented and in-depth documentary series will see the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex share the other side of their highly profile love story. Netflix has revealed. As the world reacts to Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary series, high-profile Australians are sharing their thoughts on the first three episodes. The show has so far explored the Duke and Duchess's of Sussex love story, their feud with the British press, and the road to Mexit in 2020. Future episodes are expected to include harmful smears about the royal family. Despite the hype surrounding the series for which Netflix is believed to have paid $100 million, Aussie journalists have dismissed it as boring and dull so far. Latika Burke of the Sydney Morning Herald called it dull, dull, dull. Channel 7 and 3AW entertainment reporter Peter Ford said it goes around in circles. Acid Tongue Gossip columnist Andrew Horney said he was bored by the first episode and stopped watching after 15 minutes adding that he was baffled by the press coverage the series had generated. Bored stiff last 15 minutes, how screwed up is our society that this becomes the biggest story? Ukraine, Iraq, Qatar, China, Trump, climate? Even poor Celine Dion are more deserving topics, surely, he wrote. Broadcaster Michelle Laurie noted the irony of Meghan and Harry complaining about press intrusion while selling details of their private lives to the highest bidder. If Meg wanted privacy, she should have stayed on suits, because I've never heard of her or it before, she wrote on Instagram. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Netflix documentary viewers will be available to watch from December 8th, 2022. There will be another volume on December 15th, 2022. The trailer for the documentary dropped on December 1st, 2022. Netflix posted the trailer to Twitter captioned, quote, Harry and Meghan, a Netflix global event coming soon only on Netflix. However, Harry and Meghan did have some fans down under, with former MAFS star Jules Robinson telling her 745,000 Instagram followers she was loving it. Netflix described the series as an unprecedented six-part documentary that explores the span of their relationship. From the early days of the couple's courtship to the challenges that prompted them to step back from the royal family. It comes after radio host Ben Fordman unleashed a scathing attack on the Netflix docuseries, saying its trailers are full of editing tricks and misleading scenes. It says the series includes interviews with the family and friends who've never spoken publicly about the couple's relationship before as well as historians and journalists speaking about the effects of the media on the couple. So we have false claims, photos that have no link to the royal family, videos that have no link to Harry and Meghan, and images taken out of context, he said on his 2 gigabyte radio program on Wednesday morning. Fordham told listeners one scene in the trailer shows footage of paparazzis surrounding a car as Harry is heard complaining about the pain and suffering of women, a 